Welcome to Drawfee's show, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. I was doing a riff there on the name of Demon's Souls. I oh. I've, I got that. Which is the clunkiest title of all. Everyone thinks it's just Demon's Souls. Which but would, it's Demon's Souls. But it's souls. Demon's Souls. All mm. demons have souls. You got to hit that double S. We're doing a Demon's Souls episode. <laughs> it's about time. The people <laughs> wanted it. They clamored for it. And we're doing it just in time, months late. <laughs> You're after, welcome. <laughs> after the game came out on PS5, remade. But as usual, I have brought the ancient lore of the mm -hmm. Demon's Souls. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to give to you three the names of bosses. And you're going to draw what you think they might look like if you knew. I love that. But you don't know. I don't you know. No, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to try. I'm yes. sure going to try. It's going to be funny, probably. I hope so. <laughs> Nathan, I got one for you first if you want to. If you want to do it. I do want to do it. Your boss is actually the final boss of the game. Whoop. Wow. Whoa. Spoilers. He is called Old King Alant. Okay. And <laughs> Old King Alant, just to give you a little bit of some somewhere to go here. Okay. He's also known as the False King. Ooh. The player faces him as a red-eyed demon created in the image of King Alant. He wears a white tunic and wields a black sword called Soul Brant. He's actually the real king, but because he's got false teeth, uh, he's false king. Nope, he doesn't have, well, all of him is false. Teeth too. The whole thing is false, but he looks like a demon? No, he looks he like- He looks like the king. He looks like King Alant. But he's a demon. But he's a demon. Does he have horns? I drew horns. You drew horns, but I said he was created in the image of King Alant. Did King Alant have, have horns? You, if King Alant had horns, then yeah. Maybe it's part of his crown. Could be. Could be. King's got crowns. Maybe he's got like a horn crown. If your king is wearing a horn crown, you got to know that things are not about to be headed in a good direction for what you. What if it's like a cute horn crown? I think it's a pretty clear sign. In a world where you know demons exist. Maybe he's just really into like cottage core. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, he just needs a few flowers and it'll yeah. be cute. <laughs> Buy that shit on Etsy. <laughs> Demon Etsy. <laughs> Etsy. Nathan, would you like to know some more lore? I would love to know some more lore. So King Alant, the original. Mm -hmm. and this is a classic story, all right? OG king. Yeah, he was one of those good kings. Everybody loved him. But then he got old and was like, uh-oh. I'm going to die someday. So I'm going right. to have a freak out about it. Right. And he was like, instead of dying, I'm going to search the world to, to try and achieve greater power so right. I can become strong and keep living. And uh, he found greater power when he stumbled upon the Nexus and he was taught the soul arts, which ushered in an era of prosperity for him and his kingdom. The soul arts are really just when you get so into the piece that you're making you just feel like your soul is being represented in He's the illustration. a true artist. A true artiste. It's kind of like that, but if instead it let you shoot lasers <laughs> out oh. of your hands and stuff. That can be art too. That, that can be art, art too. Um, every concert needs, needs that. Yeah. <laughs> the soul arts. Yeah. Yeah, you bring in the soul <laughs> arts to make the concert look really rad. To the Zed concert. Coachella only hires the best soul artists. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is actually a thing in the game that the soul arts were intended to bring sort of enlightenment and prosperity to people, but they immediately started using it to kill each other. We all know that the people who come out of Coachella are the most enlightened. <laughs> and also the most deadly. <laughs> and also the most deadly. But about what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, what are you talking We're talking about, about Coachella, right? <laughs> We're, We're all talking, talking about, about the same thing, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about Coachella. We're talking about what? someone was definitely talking about Coachella. It wasn't I remember you? someone I think it was mentioning Jacob. Coachella because I was thinking about Hatsune Miku. I think Jacob mentioned it. At Coachella. Jacob, you sure? Yeah. I definitely you didn't brought it up. Bring it up. Okay, you did. It's in, it's in the lore. King Alant went to Coachella. <laughs> to see Hatsune Miku. He, to see Hatsune Miku, and he did some drugs, and he got all <laughs> tripped out. Uh, no, he didn't do that. What he what? did do was learn soul arts, usher in an era of prosperity, and then he got too greedy mm. 
And so As he went do, back to the Nexus and he awakened the old one mm. to make a deal with it for more power. And he got more power in exchange for basically the apocalypse. I mean, I hate when that happens. You are the most powerful person in the world when you're the only person in that world. Yeah. <laughs> but spoilers for Demon Souls, when you find the real King Alant at the end of the game, he's kind of just like a horrible slug at oh. this point. Oh, it, I like, thought you were going to say he was just out in the back playing some bingo. I mean, he was <laughs> retirement. He contained so much soul power. He was able to create this this false version that uh, was extremely strong. Oh. But his oh, true is, version he's, he's been, strong. He's strong. Well, he's Jacob. the final boss of the game. But he but he's strong. <laughs> if he wasn't strong, it wouldn't uh, be a very hard boss. You're giving a lot of indirect answers to this question. He's one of those strong olds. Yeah, he's a strong old. But he's also a slug? I'm really interested that he became a slug. Where did his bones go? They got all jumbled up in there. They goopified. They goopified. You want to know the most messed up thing about this boss? Okay, please. Demon Souls, when it came out, was like a very notoriously difficult game. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so you'd reach this boss, and he has a move where he tries to grab you with his glow in hand. Mm-hmm. And if he does it, he actually sucks the levels out of your character. Whoop. Huh? So he de-levels you. Like the level ups you worked so hard to get, he sucks them away and makes you permanently weaker. So he has a glowing oh, hand and a, and a sword, yes? Yes. And he's okay. strong. And he's very strong. I like that Jacob confirmed strong and the main change you went with was giving him a beard. <laughs> <laughs> he's strong now. Strong olds have beards, typically. And armor. Ormer. And, Orm- and Ormer. He's one of them Ormered kings Ormer. for sure. Which which side is the glowing side and which side is the sword side? I don't have to tell you that. You don't have to tell me that. All right. I feel like the lesson people really should have learned from now based on like all fiction mm-hmm. is that you shouldn't get power greedy because it always turns out bad. But then when when do you know how to call it? But what, if, but yeah. what if you do it, if you just do it a little bit, be- if you're just a little smarter about it? It worked for him the first time. Yeah, yeah. He, just, he, just, he just went back was the problem. I don't like, know why I all three of again. us are defending him, but. Well, I, that's the, the issue is that like it worked for him the first time. He ushered in an age of prosperity and he was like, not good enough. But what if I could have more prosperity? Yeah. You know? But if you got prosperity, why do you need more prosperity? You're already prosperous. But more. But you you start to plateau on the prosperity. You're like, yeah, things are looking up and it's a yeah. nice steady pace. But what if we had explosive growth? It's not going to mm. stay that prosperous consistently forever. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's probably better to <laughs> burn it all to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably better to bring in a colorless fog that sweeps the land uh-huh. and unleashes yeah. demons upon all of the humans yeah. on Earth. You never know. You never know until you try. You live long enough to bring in the colorless fog or you die a slug. No, he died a slug because he brought in the colorless fog. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you get both. Sometimes, Sometimes you, get both. you get both. Yeah, you never know what Because you worked get. really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someday to retire as a horrible slug waiting for death. Nah, that's like my one fear. Being a slug? Yeah. That's your one fear? Have you ever read Uzumaki? That shit scares me. I have. (laughs) But then if you go to the movies, you could get that old slug discount. (laughs) No. <laughs> yeah, what about Not the old slug discount? Not worth it. No. You get the old slug pass on all public transport. Yeah. You no? get to sit in the slug section. Yeah. And then you go get to live in uh, Florida. It's a nice retired old slug. On yeah. the beach, hang out at the beach. Slugging out on the beach. Slugging out at the beach. No, I don't like that. Mm. I just don't want to be a slug. I can't wait to be an old slug. <laughs> I want to be a young slug in the prime of my life. <laughs> young slugs. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words of that song. That was good enough for me. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
You done made it a Soul Calibur. This is just Nightmare from Soul Calibur. Yeah, you did draw Nightmare from Soul Calibur. This is just old Nightmare from Soul Calibur. <laughs> a demon soul still burns. You remember Nightmare from Soul Calibur? <laughs> this is what he looks like now. Yeah, you want to feel old? This is what Nightmare from Soul Calibur looks like now. <laughs> I just like that the name Alant is one letter away from Alan. That's my yeah. dad. This is old King Alan. Don't mind him. I made his neck so long. He's got a long neck. Yeah, it's, it's part of his demon out, yeah. transformation. Yeah, his neck got really long. He's got a demon neck. Got one of them demon necks. Classic affliction. I've drawn enough, I think. You're so good at doing armor on the fly. Yeah. Thank you. There he is. I love him. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the real one looks like. Show me the okay. real one. I want to see. Eh? Can you believe to learn? Oh, he's kind of he's kind of oh, cute. He's, <laughs> he's like uh he's like a fancy man. Yeah, he's oh. a bit of a gilf. He yeah. looks exactly like the main baddie from Kingdom Hearts. He's not even that old. <laughs> he's Is an he ansom. one of them? He's, ansom. <laughs> he's one of the ansoms. <laughs> What's he doing here? He's ansom the band conductor. I mean, Nathan, when his demon form was made, it kind of represented his sort of like prime old self. He's like a strong old. He's a strong old. I see. You know? He does have a beard. He's got he a beard. He does have a yeah. beard, so <laughs> I mean yours is yours is good too. Yours is older King whatever Alan. his name. Alan. Old King Alan. Yeah, this is old King <laughs> Alan. Yeah. <laughs> He's different. He's different. <laughs> he's, he's a little different. Yeah, he does things a little different. <laughs> Good job, Nathan. Karina's up next. Karina. Ah. Karina, I picked this one. I saw it and I knew it was for you. Oh, that's a good sign. Straight out the gate. And you even did me a service by bringing up Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Is it Hatsune Miku? It's Hatsune (laughs) Miku. Uh, No, it's not. Your boss is called Pool's Idol. Hatsune Uh, Miku. (laughs) Whoa. We are all fools for her. (laughs) To give you a little bit of lore Mm -hmm. so you know what you're getting into here. Uh, The Fool's Doll is an art, or sorry, the Fool's Idol is an Uh artificial doll. Okay. Like Hatsune Miku. Like Hatsune Miku. What are you getting at? Crafted in the queen's image and controlled by the old monk. Queen Elizabeth. Queen of my heart, Hatsune Miku. Yeah. Its purpose is to deceive the prisoners into thinking the queen is still alive. The belief (laughs) that the queen was still alive gave the prisoners hope, quieted any insurrections, and lured prisoners to the church in order to worship the fool's idol and seek redemption from her. But the queen, the queen's dead. The queen is dead. Yes. Yeah, so so far, you've just described Hatsune Miku. And this, of course, this is the queen who was married to the to King Allen, old King old Allen. Man Allen. Yeah, she was married to King. Ah, uh, he's so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Hatsune Miku that you go to in a church, and okay, so she, churchy Hatsune Miku. She judges you. Ah, uh, it's my dream. <laughs> And if you're judged, you know, worthy, if you're redeemed, then you're taken above by the gargoyles. Her gargoyles? Yeah, the prisoners thought they were going to like heaven or something, but in actuality, they were going to the old monk's tower to get experimented on. Oh, that's fun. This is one of those spooky Hatsune Mikus. Yeah. So many old people. I'm not going to not draw Hatsune Miku. In this game. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, I knew that going in. Yeah, okay. Sort of like a Hatsune Miku sistermon. Yeah, it is Hatsune Miku's sister mod. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. are a lot of old characters, Nathan, because there's also the old hero is another one. But then the old blood, that's Bloodborne. That's Bloodborne. Yeah. Okay. So they're they're all old, but their blood isn't old. Their blood is not relevant. No one cares about the blood in this I'm game. I mean, they've all become demons at this point. Yeah, and demons notoriously ones. don't have blood. It's not called demon's blood. No, it's called demon's soul. Demons, demons' souls. Demons' souls. <laughs> Truly a vile name. I can't believe they named it that. Even the title is hard. Hey. Hey. Nice. <laughs> I made a joke about how hard that game is. 
It's actually Demon Souls Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Demon's Souls Monsters. Please, I'm Dr. Demon's Souls. Yeah. <laughs> Demon's Souls Monster is my monster. <laughs> Do you want to know some of her moves? Hey, yeah, yeah. So she's the queen was a gifted sorceress. And so the the I, the, the fool's idol is also a sorceress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it can cast soul arrow and soul ray. And it can also create many copies of itself to confuse the player. Yes. That sounds yeah. very confusing. It can also temporarily paralyze the player with a magic spell. Interesting. With Perfect. the power of her music. Yeah. You just have to stop and listen. This person that you've drawn, Karina, looks like she's sitting on the floor and that she's so bored of sending people to the monks to be experimented on. She's just like reclining on the floor, like waving away the people like, yes, yes, get taken away by the gargoyles. Yeah, I'm going somewhere with this, but there's a there's a specific Hatsune Miku I have in mind with this pose. So I'm trying to think real, (laughs) real Hatsune Miku stands know exactly which pose this is. (laughs) Fake fans need not apply. I think uh, when you see the original, you're going to be shocked at kind of how much the pose you did is similar to the pose that she's actually in. Well, it's kind of like a doll pose. Yeah. It's also, okay, until you drew the, the second. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Here. The hair there. It kind of looks like an Ariana Grande. Music oh, yeah. Video. Yeah. It does look like Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. Right now, she's in a state of mind. That's a grande lyric. Wow. Yeah, right, right now, God is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> right now, thank you, next. <laughs> That's what she says to the prisoners. <laughs> yeah. As they get taken up by gargoyles. But it yeah. is Hatsune Miku's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know a fun fact about the Souls games? Yeah. Yes. They're made by a Japanese company. Uh-huh. From software, right? Uh-huh. But all of the dialogue is originally recorded in English. Oh, there's not like a Japanese voice oh. recording. There's not even like a dub. I don't think so. I could be okay. wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they release it. They record it all in English. I know they do that first because it's meant to be like a sort of European setting. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. These bleak versions of reality could only take place in a world where people predominantly spoke English. (laughs) That's definitely (laughs) true. Uh, I like this outfit already. The pose looks like she's doing a very lazy like, what are you going to do? Come at me. I'm just going to, you don't even know if I'm a copy. Because this is evil Hatsune Miku. She's she's like egging you on. Yeah. Yeah. Also, when when you fight this boss, if you go in, uh, just like straight through the front door, you actually can't kill her. She just keeps coming back to life over and over again. Yeah, it's Hatsune Miku. <laughs> you have right. to go a different way. There's this one enemy you have to find who is like doing a, a ritual that keeps resummoning her. Oh. He's like the hologram oh, projector man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it all comes back to soul arts <laughs> yep. and the in the concert at Coachella. Oh my god, you're right. No. <laughs> yes. I can't believe the Coachella lore makes sense. You have to go behind <laughs> the church and find the guy just like on his computer like, "Hey." <laughs> yeah. No, it's come like on. The roadie, the tech Turn roadie. off Hatsune Miku. No. No, don't. <laughs> this button makes her dance. Fashion. <laughs> this button makes her dance. This button makes her stop dance. He's just sitting in front of a really tiny stream deck. <laughs> He's got one. Yeah. <laughs> With 12 buttons, you can control Hatsune Miku. <laughs> I wanted her to have her gargoyles. What would Hatsune Miku's gargoyles look like? This is a deep question. Would they be cute or would they be scary? I mean, they've got to be a little scary. Would they be like the hunchback of Notre Dame gargoyles? God, I hope not. <laughs> I, I mean, the way that you're drawing it now, too, I just feel like a cute gargoyle would just look like Littlefoot. 
from <laughs> yeah. time. That's kind of what's happening right now. <laughs> Not what I'm going for at all, but <laughs> just imagining like a European church, but all of the gargoyles <laughs> are like, little little cartoon dinosaur little. <laughs> I just really wanted to draw gargoyles and I went in without thinking and now I don't know what a gargoyle looks like. I think, yeah, the pointy ear is good. The ear's getting there. Yeah, they got horns. They just look like gross, nasty men. Nasty stone men. Oh, it yeah. should be nastier. Like nasty goat man. Well, maybe not Hatsune Miku's gargoyles. They can be a little These gargoyles nasty. gargoyles oh. as, as a treat. <laughs> <They can. laughs> Should I make him hot? That's up to you. You got feel in your heart. I mean, he's gonna be hot to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. She's gotta be wearing like what's a really churchy? No, I'm trying. I'm like thinking of a very specific design, and I have no idea what it looks like. I'll fix that in post because we're not doing it right now. I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's saying. <laughs> you go to fight her, and she's like, "I'm not doing it right now." That's my mantra for this year. I'm not doing that. <laughs> we'll do it Especially later. not right now. Not, not yeah. ri you right now? Are you kidding no. me? No. This is going to look so cool in post, but it's going to look like this a hot looks, mess. <laughs> it looks like a Met Gala outfit. Yeah. 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 Met Gala Hatsune Miku. Why isn't she ever invited to the Met Gala? That's messed up. Anna Winter, get your shit together. <laughs> we need to start letting all the holograms in. Yeah. Let them in. Get the Tupac one. <laughs> <laughs> that one can come too. Yeah, get the gorillas. Get gorillas. Yeah, uh, there. the sisters from uh, Splatoon. Kim Kardashian's uh, dad. Get that. Kardashian's get that Elvis one that was on American <laughs> Idol that one time. <laughs> get them all. Get them yeah. all in there. <laughs> all of the holograms should work together and throw their own party, <laughs> just for Hatsune Miku. Yeah. I love that. It's already got the bones of a very rad drawing. Yeah. 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 When when I finish this, it's over <laughs> for everyone, for me. We will be worshiping this Hatsune Miku. <laughs> the gargoyle on the left just looks like such a friend. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like okay. a strong friend. Like they're not going to be that scary because they're supposed to be angels. Was that something you said, Jacob? I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, that's like kind of the, the myth they're telling, but- The guys. Angels are very scary. If the prisoners like looked at them a little harder, they'd be like, these things are horrifying. They're probably not angels. Yeah. Karina did like a full ass <laughs> illustration. Yeah. yeah. I, wow. I, I like this. This is some <laughs> album art. I always feel honored <laughs> when I give a prompt and then someone goes hog wild on it and gets psyched. This is album art for like the Hatsune Miku metal album. <laughs> Damn, I would listen. Hatsune Miku and baby metal team up for an album. I'd listen to that. I'd listen to that. Drop your recommendations for Hatsune Miku metal in the comments, please. For me. For Karina. Why haven't we dr done a speed draw Hatsune Miku? I'm so down for that. I don't know. I think I would hate drawing Hatsune Miku, but I'd do it. But I you could do something you... like this. I bet you would come up with a cool like. Yeah, I want to see your Hatsune Miku. You draw a whole cityscape and Hatsune Miku would be tiny in the corner. I want to give her <laughs> these garters because I'm, I'm just going full self-indulgent with this drawing, so she's getting garters. Hatsune I'm gonna Miku. stop. <laughs> Hatsune. Hatsune Miku here. Fade in the full render where I finished this now, please. <laughs> wow, look, look at it. Uh, it. <laughs> Thank you, I worked so hard on it. <laughs> I'm gonna worship it. <laughs> Me and too. Go to heaven. Yeah. yeah, what's that noise? What's that big scary angel at my door? <laughs> this is normal and fine. I'm not a fool. Show me what the real one looks like so I can be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of do a pose. Oh, she's, she's oh, got she has some extra arms. arms. Yeah. yeah. She got extra arms. She got a couple extra arms. This looks like a character <laughs> from Ico. Yeah, it really does. And the prisoners, they look at this and they're like, that's definitely the queen. 
I have no idea what the aesthetic of Demon Souls is, so definitely did not nail the outfit, but I like the outfit I drew and finished by now. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just wanted to see cool things. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to see a right. cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. But this is cool. That's I do like that, that she has multiple arms. Sometimes you need that. Mm-hmm. Let's get Julia in. Me. How am I going to follow up a full illustration? Well, Probably with a full <laughs> illustration. If I had, you know, to guess yeah. based on past experience, it's probably going to be something rad. Thankfully, you'll be drawing something very different. So it will not, it's, it's incomparable. Great. Because I've given you the nastiest drawing of the day. <laughs> Good. Ooh. Love that. Nathan and Karina got a hot old man and a hot queen. Tsune Miku. <laughs> yeah, and a hot Tsune Miku. <laughs> but you're going to get everyone's friend, your friend and mine, the Dirty Colossus. <laughs> what? <Ooh. laughs> you know it's good when dirty's in the name. <laughs> Don't dirty talk to Colossus. that Colossus. That's the Dirty Colossus. That's the Dirty Colossus. And he's not just Colossus from X-Men all nastied up. No. Okay, you want to tell me about Dirty Colossus a little I bit? I really do. I, I picked this one basically just because I love the description on this website so much. Good. Uh, which is soulslore.wiki.com. The Dirty Colossus is a deformed creature that arose from the compounded filth that accumulated in the Valley of Defilement. It has a golem-like figure with a spiky red carapace, which is covered in brown slime and wooden planks. Its sensitive abdomen is protected by a shabby wooden barrel. A cloud of flies is constantly buzzing around its head. A fat maggot-like growth covered in stitches sprouts from the Dirty Colossus's left shoulder. <laughs> what? He's just a big he's a big gross guy. Yeah, he's, he's a dirty nasty. colossus. Dirty gross guy with some like wooden barrel bits. Yeah, with a name like that, I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big nasty for sure. And it I will tell you out the gate, no matter what you draw, you'll never get close to what it actually looks like. Oh. Great. It's just an insane looking thing that I wouldn't have ever thought of i wouldn't wish on anyone i wouldn't wish it on anyone <laughs> uh it's really a nasty fight when you fight it it shoots like fly clouds at you and if the bugs and filth get on you you move really slow and take damage it sounds like a binding of isaac villain yeah, yeah i was gonna say that sounds like something else it kind of is you have to light yourself on fire in order to get rid of the bugs <laughs> yeah that's a mood burn away the filth Oh, this is sort of like an impish oh, demeanor. Oh, it's cute. I'm so dirty. I'm a dirty colossus. I'm a dirty, dirty colossus. little colossus. <laughs> 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 Ooh, what am I going to do? This has some uh, Stitch, Lilo and Stitch energy. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It kind of looks like a gorilla's too. <laughs> he looks yeah. mischievous. Is Dirty Colossus in gorillas? Might be. <laughs> We're bringing it back to the holograms. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who's in gorillas, so it could be this guy. We do know now. We don't. They wear the masks. They don't wear masks. <laughs> they wear the masks. We all wear the masks. What? And the, and they they wear the masks. They what don't wear masks. What are you talking masks? about? They're a mysterious bunch who only show up as animated figures. Julia, I'm getting concerned about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> they do show up as animated figures. You're right. They don't wear masks because they're cartoons. They're cartoons. They're like Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Hatsune Miku doesn't wear a mask. Neither do gorillas. <laughs> Maybe Dirty Colossus is looking towards a brighter future. He's just <laughs> thinking fondly about all the filthy stuff that he's going to do. Yeah. Oh, he's like Shrek. <laughs> he kind of looks like Shrek, too. This is kind of like a hot Shrek. Yeah, this is a very handsome Shrek. But nastier than Shrek. Yeah, a handsome, nasty Shrek. If you need any uh, like parts repeated of the description. <laughs> yeah, what's the, the shoulder sit? Maggot. It's got, Ever oh yeah, there, there's a fat maggot-like growth covered in stitches that sprouts yeah. from the left shoulder. Okay. You know. You know, that thing, that type of thing. 
I can't believe you started with this face. It's He's like, so, I never would have guessed. He's so impish. Yeah. yeah. He looks like the son of Shrek and Homer Simpson. It looks like he's remembering a real funny part of Austin Powers in math class. <laughs> he's trying to focus on what the teacher is saying, but he can't stop thinking about the part in Austin Powers where he pees for a really long time. I was going to say that part. <laughs> Nathan, we both thought of the same part of Austin Powers where he pees for a long time. He pees time. for such a long time. It's really funny. Yeah, it's so long. <laughs> And you keep thinking he's going to stop, but then he keeps But peeing. then he keeps peeing, and he's just thinking about that. His teacher's talking about, like, <laughs> integers or whatever. He's just like, no. wow, can you imagine actually peeing for that long? <laughs> I bet it would feel great. <laughs> <laughs> he's in math and class so, wearing a barrel. And so he's just making this face. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's been punished and has to wear the barrel because <laughs> of something he did you can make me wear the barrel but I'm never going to stop thinking about funny parts of movies <laughs> you can't change me you can't control my thoughts teach this is who I am <laughs> <laughs> Julia, I do want to remind you about his spiky red carapace. Yeah. Just if you want to reflect that in any way. Yeah, well, it's I got to start with the base. I got, you know, one one thing at a time. It's like what an insect has. It's like, like, a, it's like a bug's like outside. Like an exoskeleton. Oh, okay. It just means he's covered in spiky red shit. Yeah. You know. What of it? A carapace. A carapace. Sometimes we have bad skin days. <laughs> when you mentioned the name Dirty Colossus has the same number of syllables as Baby Beluga. <laughs> and so I was just thinking what if the what if the song was about Dirty Colossus instead? I don't know the Baby Beluga Can song. Can you give us a sample? Break us off a piece. Dirty Colossus in the deep blue sea <laughs> swims so wild, swims so free. Dirty Colossus, <laughs> dirty Colossus, <laughs> like that. Aww, that was amazing. That's cute. It's a, it's a Raffi song. Oh yeah, Raffi. We probably got copyright strike for that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, by Raffi. <laughs> Very litigious. Raffi's Raffy. coming for us. It's just a matter of time. I was thinking about the about Janelle Monet's album Dirty Computer. Oh. Which also has the same number hey, of syllables yeah. as Dirty Colossus and one of the same words. <laughs> that's cl that's closer then. Yeah. If it were called Dirty Beluga. <laughs> yeah. What about Dirty Beluga? What about Dirty Beluga? <laughs> It's the remix. <laughs> oh my god, he's Shark Boy. You made Shark Boy. I did. Yeah. Shark Boy ooh ha. -ha. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. No. <laughs> you got me good with that, Julia. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. There's something so funny about saying the ooh ha, -ha but like <laughs> not like not even committing to it. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh ha ha. Like from the, mo ooh, like ha from ha. the movie. Now he's thinking about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember in Finding Nemo where they say ooh ha ha? I like that. <laughs> Imagine if Austin Powers was pissing that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything funnier. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> position he's in <laughs> yeah why is he he's doing like a frog sit yeah but why he looks like in kingdom hearts 2 when roxas sits on the tower and eats a popsicle <laughs> is this how he does it you know sitting with his knee up and talking to his best friend axel yeah with his hands like right down in front of him in between his legs yeah we got the maggot there it is we got the barrel we got the barrel. We've got, got the, carapace. the carapace. We, we got just... the hopeful expression. Yeah. 
We just need the slime. We just need the slime and the and flies. The flies. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. And then we're there. We checked all the boxes. I want it to be like they didn't know this dude was under all this red <laughs> stuff and they tried to make a path and he was like, what the? Hey. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's a common theme in the Valley of Defilement that like is just so nasty down there that that shit just kind of coagulates and becomes monsters. Yeah. Because the one you fight, the boss you fight before this one in that world is called Leechmonger. Mm. And it's just a big, nasty pile of leeches that became like a, a horrible leech man. Leechmon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so it's, they just let it get too nasty down there. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, here comes the slime. <laughs> here comes the slime. <laughs> Here comes the slime. Is he emerging from it? Like his face is framed by it? I like that. Is that a slime beard he has? I just pictured it as like just a coagulation of different sorts of like hair yeah. and fur that fell down there. It's and... muck. Yeah, like it's in like the muck. drain. Yeah. This guy comes up out of your drain. Yeah. When you shower. Yeah. Surprise. A little pervert. <laughs> He comes face first, so that's yeah. what greets you. So he can get a peek at your butt. <laughs> yeah, and that's the face he makes that's, when he yeah, sees that's, it because it's That's cute. what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes back down and he sits and thinks about it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was sure a butt I saw. <laughs> hmm. Wow, amazing. I truly live a blessed existence. <laughs> <laughs> a charmed life. You've injected so much character into this boss that you, you, for most people, they just know him as just sort of a horrible pile of shit. I figured he was just a, a horrible pile of, of garbage, but I I liked the idea of making a, a weird, almost charming Pixar garbage <laughs> monster. Is this a Pixar? <laughs> this is their next film. <laughs> Dirty Colossus. <laughs> Dirty Colossus. Well, it would just be called Dirty. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's commentary on uh, the, the garbage and plastics problem of, uh, yeah. of Earth. Yeah, it actually takes place at, on Earth at the same time as Wally, just in a different part. <laughs> yeah, while well, Wally was over there doing his Wally stuff. This guy was on some other area of the world. Doing, this guy was just loving it. Doing Unbeknownst. all sorts of nasty shit. Yeah. Just living his life. I love this place. Yeah, maybe Wally, Wally's world was great for this guy. He didn't want it to become a yeah. utopia again. Yeah. He gets real bummed out during the end credits of Wally. They, they cut <laughs> away just before they meet up with him. And he's like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, I had this a was thing going. Yeah, I was having a nice time. It's not the Valley of Defilement anymore. <laughs> it's just like a nice valley. Nothing's even defiled <laughs> over here. The sequel to Wally, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> Where's my coagulated filth? Where will I find another <laughs> barrel? You've managed to make the most sympathetic character we've drawn today. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of cute. It's this stupid facial expression I've decided to start with. Yeah. What what actor does this remind me of? It's reminding me of something and I cannot place it. Is it is it Ernest Borgnine? I'm not feeling Ernest. I'm feeling there's definitely an actor that I'm thinking about. There's a I specific think. one I have in mind. He's kind of like a a B list. Yeah. Actor That's what I'm thinking. Who has this impish face? If Tony were here, he would know the Tony name. Tony would absolutely. Josh Gad. No. <laughs> but also, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Josh Gad would play him today. Yeah. <laughs> I saw his face for but a moment. I'm trying to think of one movie this dude has been in, and I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right. Well, in the comments, let us know. Yeah. Please tell us. What actor this is? He's just gonna be sitting in like a little trash pile. Aww. Like I mean, obviously it could be Andy Circus because he, you know, he he's a chameleon. He can he can do any role. But... <laughs> it's it's anyone that's just a really good actor. 
Yeah, it really, honestly, yeah. It's Meryl Streep. This is <laughs> Meryl Streep's new project. <laughs> yeah. She gets the nomination for this performance, but she doesn't win because she's already won so many times. They, yeah. they wanted to give it to someone they else. They just wanted to give it to someone else this one time. Like, everyone knows she deserved it, but... She's not she's not so petty as to like she's still very happy <laughs> and gracious about it. Of course. Um, I guess this is done. Did I hit all the beats? Yes. The I think flies. You did a wonderful job. Oh, yeah, the flies. The flies. The get cloud of flies. Cloud of flies. Cloud of flies. C O F. I feel like he's talking to these two, but then like back here. Oh yeah, it's those two flies. those two clouds. <laughs> Voiced by Nathan Lane. And um, Nathan, Josh Gad, Fillion, Josh Gad, it <laughs> has to be Josh Gad. <laughs> this Nathan is Josh Gad's like for you. passion project. <laughs> Gadfly, Gadfly, we did it. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. It doesn't look like you're done. Yes. Now it looks like you're done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reveal to you the real one, which. Kind of gives me like a weird sort of Tim Burton nightmare vibe. Okay. Interesting. It's really, st it's a very strange design that it, I kind of like. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's is... just, okay. Is that his face? I think the, the maggot-like growth is, is kind of his face. Oh. Sort of. This is fun. It's kind of hard to tell. He's, he's, a, he's a chonky friend. He yeah, is not that far off. I bet if you scrub away some of the spikes, you'll find this <laughs> yeah. this hopeful expression. Julia underneath. drew like a gajinka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can see what I mean. That Whatever you drew, it wouldn't have been this. Yeah. He looks like a Silent Hill a little bit. Yeah, he really does. A Silent Hill with a little Tim Burton face. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That is correct. Yep. Well, friends, we've cleansed... Boletaria of the colorless fog. We've beaten all the demons, and now the only choice left is to save the world or become a demon and doom it to eternal darkness. Eh. And the only way to make that decision is to like and subscribe this video oh. yeah, to save the world. We're going to have so many likes and subscribes that we're very prosperous, but then I'm going to want even more, and I'm going to come back and get corrupted. That's the dang cycle, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Darn isn't it. it. So be better give us enough likes so that that doesn't happen. Don't let Nathan get greedy. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Go check out our Patreon. Follow us on Twitch and Twitter and Twitter. We got a merch else. store. We got a merch store at DFTBA. The link's in the description. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you'd like to see us draw next in the comments. Yes. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.